All right, everybody, this is a little bit of a different uh, kind of an update. Um, I've uh, been in the shop several times the last few weeks, and I'm going to share with you some little visual updates on the 38 Zephyr as it's been going through the process. So not all of this is current. Um, right now you're seeing a bit of a walk around. It's a few weeks ago where all the alignments and gaps were getting worked on. It's a little rougher still, not quite ready for paint, but certainly a lot of work uh, getting done uh, all the way around. So the door panels are still on and the trunk panel's still on. Everything's getting lined up. Um, I'm still amazed by that rear driver fender needing basically no work at all. That's quite an amazing piece. So as I've been uh, visiting over the last few weeks, I've just ducked in to get little upgrade updates on the car just to uh, kind of have a little record of how it was lined up. Uh, clearly, they're paying a lot of attention to the gaps and getting them just perfect. Uh, uh, the attention to detail is amazing to me and certainly uh, represents the quality of this uh, build going on. Um, as they're going through the process, they, uh, you know, they just, they, they just keep going and going and quite something to watch. Now I uh, realize that we're going to jump around a little bit on the timeline here. And, uh, and jump ahead to taking the panels off the car once they're all lined up and uh, we know the gaps and alignments. So here we are uh, walking around the shop and I did manage to get JB to give us a little update on uh, kind of where we are in the process. Hi. Oh. Looking very good. Yeah. Wow. We ordered the paint yesterday. You ordered the paint. Milestone. Yeah, that is a milestone. You are getting right there. Yeah. I can see how you see you're just in that spot. Yeah. Shadow on it. Yeah, you can see that the. That's the last. Both of our case and the last sandpaper case. 600? So he's getting ready to, to block sand it with 600. Right, 600. Here we go, coming that's, up. That's that's that. Then you stop. Then we got to go to color and they'll paint the, the ridges around the door, the jam. Right. And uh, and then that means that then they can do centers and they will wrap them up along the front corner, stick them up there, and get them out of the way. First thing you do is scratch them. Yeah. Ooh, mm. they're dropping on the ground. Right. Ooh. Yeah. There's a lot of human effort in that center. Right? Yeah. Uh, the interior looks pretty close to ready from what I can tell. And, and here's a walk around with the car body without any of the panels on it. You'll see that uh, the panels have been taken inside to get worked on separately now that the alignments and gaps are all straightened out. And the, and the rest of the body here is being prepped and sanded. It looks to my eye getting much closer to being ready for paint. And of course, that's what everybody gets pretty excited about because everything changes once <laughs> once the paint happened. Now, here we are back at the shop inside where they're starting to, uh, here in this spot, they're uh, just getting the, every final measurement for the window glass. And so that's right. And, and some of the insides of the panels are already getting paint here. So as JD mentioned, they got the paint. Well, jumping over to the seat, the seat frame that we uh, talked about earlier, I think uh, it's 100%. I helped myself to make sure that the uh, <laughs> that the hinges work right. I think they're just waiting for the timing to schedule to work out to send it on. So I'll continue to uh, give you updates as I can. I'm sorry uh, we couldn't do a walk around with JB on this particular one. But uh, I thought it'd be worth giving you guys an update since we haven't posted anything in the last little while. Sometimes uh, body work is just slow going and it's not a very visual thing. You just have to keep motoring through it. So uh, I am peeking in on it when I can.